The death of a gas station attendant in an apparent gas and dash this weekend continues to spark outrage right across the city, especially after learning the victim may have been trying to protect his paycheck, costing him his life. So what's being done to change all of that? Let's bring in uh, with the latest Global Sean O'Shea. Good evening, Sean. Good evening, Anne. Saturday's incident now has the Ontario Federation of Labour stepping in. It says the illegal practice of docking workers pay for gas theft played a role in the tragedy and it's setting up a hotline to protect employees and their wages. I live without him. In, uh, like impossible. A grieving widow trying to deal with the loss of her husband. 44-year-old Jayesh Prajapati is the Shell gas station attendant run down and killed when trying to stop a customer who fueled up without paying the $112 tab. The oil industry and gas retailers have steadfastly denied workers have to make up shortfalls. Liberal MPP Mike Cole says employees who work in the gas stations tell a different story. The owners of the gas station and the oil companies to realize this is uh, an issue that needs their attention. Now the Ontario Federation of Labour is asking workers to speak up about their experiences. We set up a 1-800 hotline for gas pump attendants to call into the OFL and tell us their story. Sid Ryan says the Labour organization wants those stories so Labour investigators can pursue companies that force workers to pay up when a consumer doesn't. A practice which is against Ontario law. It's rampant out there. There's no question it is rampant across the city. The widow of the Shell gas station worker says her late husband had been forced to make up shortfalls from theft in the past, even though the station owner says employees were never punished. She's saying, yeah, if uh, something happened during his shift, he has to pay previously for that loss from his wages. Employees of other gas stations say they face the same kind of financial penalty. Sid Ryan says the provincial government has an obligation to investigate and punish employers found to be floating the rules. He should enforce the legislation, the Employment Standards Act, it's already in place, that says it's illegal to dock somebody's wages, not just, by the way, in the gas industry, um, but also um, people who work in retail stores and people who work in restaurants. Police are looking for a 39-year-old suspect who was photographed at the gas station. A Liberal MPP Mike Cole says he'll push a private member's bill that would require consumers to pay first, then pump. That law exists in other jurisdictions and could prevent gas and dash incidents like the one that happened over the weekend. Anna Leslie, back to you. All right, Sean O'Shea for that. Thank you.